it's Reya, and welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday. This week's topic is summer reads. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to summer, I like the feeling of fluff and the feeling of light, springy weather and everything. So that's what I'm looking for in my summer reads as well. I don't want them to be too overwhelming, not too heavy. I just want to feel happy and lighthearted and everything. And maybe I will read some really grim dark things as well, but I like to sprinkle my summer with some really light, happy reading. Now, let's just get started. First up, I'm going to recommend Emma by Jane Austen. I think Emma is the epitome of light-hearted comedy and misunderstandings and a kind of contained farce, if you will, and I love Emma. It is my favorite Jane Austen book, actually, and, and most of Emma actually takes place during summer, so you have a lot of picnics, you have a lot of walks in the outdoors, and it is just marvelous and lovely, and you could actually read it while you were at a picnic. Number two on my list is Fearsome Journeys, which is a short story collection edited by Jonathan Strayan, and it features authors such as Scott Lynch and Trudy Canavan and Elizabeth Baer and Saladin Ahmed. It is great. It has a lot of awesome short stories set in the fantasy genre, and some of them are more steampunky than others. I absolutely love this short story collection. And I find that short stories are a really great way to spend your summer, especially if you're out going to parties or if you're camping and socializing and having a life outside of your book nook, then short stories are a great way to actually get some reading done. Number three on my list is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. Don't pay no attention to the cover because I am going to get another edition at some point. I got this as a present. Don't judge me. But yeah, uh, Stardust by Neil Gaiman is wonderful. It is great. It has the right amount of fantastical elements and mystery and intrigue and, and fairy tale qualities. And I just think it is a great summer read. And it is very short. So once again, it is great for those moments when you maybe don't have as much time as usual. Fourth on my list is The Far League Midsommar by Tuve Jansson, or Moomin Summer Madness uh, in English. This has an English translation out, so if you want, you can go look for it. This is the epitome of a summer book. It is set in summer, it is set during the midsummer. It is about a huge flood coming to the Moomin Valley and everyone has to evacuate. And the Moomins, they are in a boat and they happen across this building floating in the water, which is an old abandoned theater, and they take refuge in the theater and everything goes from there. And it is a very summery book, it is a very fantastical book and, e and an easy read, and I, I love it because what is there not to love about Moomins? Moomin books are just filled with happiness, and I really wish everyone would read them because they just makes you smile. And finally, number five on my list is The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. Because what is not the best time to start reading Terry Pratchett than summer? Because he has a lot of very short books and they are really fun, they are lighthearted. You don't really have to think about them too much, but if you want to think about them, then they have a lot of substance to them. But yeah, Terry Pratchett is the go-to guy if you want to just have a good time, have some fun, and have a few laughs. And isn't that what summer is all about in the end? Having some laughs in, being happy, and everything. So yeah, that's my final pick for summer reads. And there you have it, those have been all my picks for summer reads. And if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below with your own Summer Reads recommendations so I can check them out and fill my t summer TBR with some fun light reads. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!